85% of Americans live within 10 miles of a brewery. What a time to be alive. Perhaps that is why fewer people are homebrewing these days. Perhaps also why our Steve Steger walked into his homebrew shop and saw a closing sign. It's been kind of humbling seeing all the customers that we've made over the years. Uh, Jamie Williams is a patient man. He has dealt with a barrage of questions over the years from a guy who knows nothing about science but decided to make his own beer. And Jamie's store, Cobrew, opened the same year my brewing career began in 2015. I never thought he'd be calling it quits before me. It's been, uh, you know, difficult, you know, to explain why we're not going to be around. Jamie and his wife, Jana, say they made the decision earlier this year when it came time for them to sign another lease on their Golden Triangle storefront. The rent was too high. A lot of people are not home brewing anymore. And the demand for home brewing supplies too low. For many reasons, Jamie says. The uh, availability of commercial beer has made it so that you don't have to make your own. The White Claw, you know, younger millennial crowd uh, has, has taken a bite out of it as well. Come on, millennials. Cobrew is the fifth homebrew shop to close in the state this year, according to the Brewers Association. I think, you know, the industry is at a little bit of a flex point. Chief Where economist Bart Watson says a lot of homebrewers are getting their supplies online. And he says good economic times are actually bad for brewing at home. You generally see more entry into home brewing when uh, the economy slows down a little bit. People have a little bit more time on their hands. They might get more interested in making their own products. Meanwhile, the shelves at Cobrew are emptying fast. But Jamie Williams is still holding on to something. When we started this, I wanted that to be a big part of our mission. And, and it has been. I mean, we, we have a lot of good friends now. For next, I'm Steve Steger. Bart Watson from the Brewers Associ Association up in Boulder says that homebrew stores might look to independent bookstores as a model. Because I think back a decade ago, bookstores were supposedly doomed, right? Then they started to innovate and change, added new features and programs, and now a lot of indie bookstores are thriving. Subscribe to the next YouTube channel and I'll buy you a beer. Am I actually buying them a beer? This could be a very poor idea. We need some terms and conditions. Offer subject to terms and conditions.